Hello, Dr. Noob here again. So, today I would like to show you the ability of ladders. So, let's get started. You know, um, I will tell you a little secret. Each time I start a tutorial, I got the feeling that it will be something like a five minute uh, tutorial. And it's always between 15 till 20 I don't know minutes the whole thing I have no clue I hope this time we can really make it in some minutes um, so what do you need we need the letters and we need the ability so for the ability this is something very quick to do you can go to your character your player in my case you scroll down until you see the character ladder or you just um, add it like that so let's activate it that would be enough for the beginning now let's create the ladder itself so about the ladder itself um, it's uh, somehow a little bit disappointing, but um, I cannot create the letters with the grid. So I cannot create a new layer, which is called, um, I'm sorry, tile map, rectangular, something like ladder, and then uh, design the ladder on it and make a tile map collider or something like that. It was horrible when I did that. I couldn't understand it. And even in the Corgi engine Discord, somebody was telling me that it would be possible, but uh, after some tests, I realized it's not. So if somebody of you has, um, has figured it out, uh, please let me know. Um, at the moment, we just cannot do that. So um, the only way I know at the moment to create that is to make it as a separate object so as usual we go to the tile sets uh, look well art and we have created well he has created a very lovely ladder and uh, we can just drag and drop it in here as usual when you go in here to the ladder 16 pixels per unit, uh, point no filter and no compression. Um, and this is what I don't like because uh, the positioning is not as cool as um, I would really love to have. Um, I have to take the ladder and position it as accurate as I can manually. Again, it's not really something I love to do, but well, that's how it is. Good. And now that we have the ladder object in here, we should also make sure that we have the ladder um, layer in here. And uh, then we can start with the ladder itself. So we can add a script and let's go through. Uh, thinking about it, I think it's better um, if we start not uh, going through this little uh, configuration here. Better if we have it running so that we can test it. So uh, therefore we need to have a collider so that when the character touches the collider we are able to go up and down this ladder. So that would be ladder. Oh, <laughs> my god. The box collider 2D. Hi, 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 hi. I know it's late in here, but that's no excuse. Um, let's put that something like 0 0.3, uh, even maybe dot 0 0.2. No, 0 0.3. It's somehow too big. Dot 5. Yeah, that's what I like. Uh, so this will be the collision. Good. Okay, so let's test that bad boy here. Uh, so what does it happen if we just have it uh, activated? We can go here and 
we can go up and yes and I cannot go down for whatever reason so uh, and if I go up <laughs> you see it's something like jumping so that's a little uh, small error I will tell you what um, exactly this means it means that sorry if I move it in here and I don't have this one-way platform here then you see what the issue will be I go here up but I have nowhere to stand and you see I just fall down once I am up and if I keep keep it up then mm, the character is somehow jumping good let's analyze that um, for Analyzing that, uh, we should go here into the leather. Do you say leather? I somehow confuse it with the leather, like leather jacket. Well, um, also something to correct me in the comments. Um, we have here the behavior. We have the simple or bidirectional. So. What you are maybe thinking about this bidirectional is that he can go up and down, but that is not exactly what it's meant by that. It means that you can go left and right during the, um, yeah, well, during using the ladder itself. If I'm not having those activated, oops, sorry. If I have this simple, then I can just go up and down but no left and right. At the moment, left and right is not working. Um, well, the next one is, I think, pretty clear. It's centering the character on leather. Um, so this is something I would like to have. And then we have something here which is interesting. We have a leather platform and he's expecting a game object. So let's do it um, we go here to the ladder and we create an empty and that's uh, leather platform good so now that we have the leather platform the only thing we would need to do is also to take another box collider 2d and um, let's say let's make it 0 0.5 and 0 0.3 something like that yeah that looks good and i put that in here on top so this is the platform mm. good so now we have the ladder platform with the collision and I can take it now and drag and drop it to the ladder platform. So let's save that and run it again. And now, oh, it's not working. So this is another ugly thing about um, the Corgi engine. And it is that the leather platform is on the layer leather, like his uh, daddy. But uh, sadly, if we would like to have it, um, that he can stand on it, it should be the one-way platform. So now let's test it again. I'm getting the feeling I know why it takes 20 minutes to make my videos. It's just because I'm talking too much and explaining too much. But here you saw it, so I can go up and then I'm here. And that's it. Now I can jump here and do whatever I like. Okay, now let's experiment a little bit with this leather on the one-way platform here, because this is normally what you will do. You will not put it somewhere in the air. You will normally go to a platform which you were, were not able to reach before with a normal jump. So let's try that out and we will see something very interesting. So now I can go up 
and if I'm still going up, you see I'm not jumping anymore. That's the good thing. The bad thing is, um, whoppa, now you see I'm starting to jump without clicking any button. So the reason is actually a very simple one. If I go to the ladder and I scroll, then you see it has not been positioned very well. We are a little bit up of our one-way platform. And so when this collision happens, and this is such a small collision, um, well, the character will apply, or the character has a force applied to it. So there are two ways to correct that. You can go here to the ladder platform and um, try to put it as good as you can in here. Um, but there is also another solution to it and this is in the ladder um, configuration you have the out of position ladder platform. And now please look at that. When I'm clicking play look what happens with this collision box. Have you seen that? He went down. And now if I go up then everything is perfect. I can walk around and I'm really gliding over my one-way platform. So no issues there. And the good thing is if I'm staying here I can also go down. Which I was not able to do before. Let's stop that and you will see it will appear again. Right. Well, just out of cosmetics I would like to have it at least a little bit better than before. Oh, steady hand, Dr. Noob. Yep. Good. So what is else to say here? Not much because we have covered that one. So let's go back to our prefabs and character and let's go to the leather configuration. So again the ability permitted is, uh, well, it's predestined for my metroidvania game where at the beginning she will not be able to go up on ladders and later she can and the next um, well actually the only thing you can really change in here if you are doing a 2d game is the ladder climbing speed uh, so you can change that the force right facing is something that is, I guess, uh, only important if you are doing uh, 3D games where if you go up your character is looking into this direction where the ladder is and when he's up he should then start looking um, right. But we don't have that on our 2D game. And the forces, um, the character force teleport on exit rector to teleport to the ladder platform when reaching the ladder's top is something I must confess I have no clue what it means. So um, I have tried to experiment and see any changes. I'm not sure if this is only valid if I have a 3D game. I do not have any. Maybe I will try that one time. But for now it's enough. So that was it for today's tutorial. I'm sorry I couldn't <laughs> answer you this one. I will again try to, maybe sometimes in the future, try a 3D game and see uh, what changes there are to the normal abilities. Anyhow, uh, thank you very much and see you next time. Cheers!